Pardon me. So this will serve as the intro video for a new leather series that I'm going to be doing, which will talk about the different parts of the process and hopefully give people a little insight into what I do. Let's get into it. So I'm going to do a series of videos which will show different parts of my process, how I actually make things and what that entails. These aren't going to be necessarily very instructional, it's not going to be with the intention of teaching people how to do these things, but it'll just kind of show people what goes into each handmade item and show you what handmade actually means. So it's not just cutting out pieces of leather and running them under a sewing machine. There's a bit more to it than that. I'm just going to outline each step in the process and hopefully people will like it. So the first video will be all to do with cutting and stenciling. So that's going to show you how I cut each part out and, and what's actually involved in that fairly straightforward, but I'll maybe talk about some of the types of leather that I use and how you can make stencils and why it's important to have stencils, things like that. The second video will be dyeing. Most of the things I make are made from natural leather, which is kind of a skin tone colour, and it's all kind of hand dyed, so I'll run through what you need in order to dye things and what the process looks like. The third video will be stamping essentially just how I put my logo on things and why I think it's important as well. I think it definitely makes things look the most professional. Yeah, I think that's quite an important step. So videos four and five in the series will be to do with stitching. This is definitely the biggest step in the process. So I'm going to split this one into two parts. The first part of the video will probably just talk about how I prepare things for stitching. And then the second part will take you through how I actually stitch things. I um, use something called a saddle stitch. There are lots and lots of videos on YouTube about how to saddle stitch, but this is just really going to be why I use a saddle stitch and what it is. Okay, and the sixth video that I'll be doing is all to do with edge finishing. I'll go over using various tools there and what burnishing is and what beveling is. Those are the two sort of main parts of that process. Okay, and the last video what I'll do will be regarding the finishes that I use and how to look after your products once you've got them, things of that nature. So as I say, these aren't intended to be particularly instructional or anything like that. They're Intention is more just to, to get people up to speed with how I actually do things. But if anyone is interested in more kind of detailed videos, I can certainly make them in the future. I'm looking to, to get a bit more involved in this. If you're interested in this, this series, then give this video a like. It will help more people to see it. And also subscribe and you'll get a notification when I upload the first video. I'll maybe try and upload one a week. That's my goal. Okay, thanks very much. And if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. That's that's fine also.